hearings and the competition commission says it has evidence that the bank traders participated in a selective chat room that conspired to manipulate the rent and that this was done purely for commercial gains. Currency trading transactions involving the rent and the US dollar are said to amount to 5 billion US dollars a day. We are here dealing with an alleged conspiracy and I think that has to be taken into account. We are not dealing with each of these uh, respondents having acted in their individual right, so to speak. <clears throat> but we're dealing with, a, with collision in the classical sense. The first thing we know is that there is a chat room, and that chat room has selected participants. For the 1.2.2, in that chat room, there is an administrator. And what that administrator does is to invite other participants. And once you are invited, you obviously have the election either to participate or to re refuse the invitation. The banks had initially said that there's no evidence that they participated in the alleged currency rigging. The banks had initially said that there's no evidence that they participated in the alleged currency rigging and that the commission has no jurisdiction to prosecute them. But the commission insists the tribunal has the right and jurisdiction to enforce the law on foreign companies. It has dismissed the allegations that the manipulation of the rent did not have an impact on South Africans. Now Lady Matlapeng, SABC News, Pretoria.